Jennifer says Sean's an animal. He is like a horny ape. But she prefers her cat. She'll come home from work, pick him up. Where did you get the cat? She's got to lick in their butt, and then she gives me a kiss. So she unleashed him for a blind date. I wouldn't say an ape. Maybe like a puppy dog. Yeah, he's like a dog, all right. And he said her bark is as sweet as her bite. She's probably like a wolf. I think she's a howler. After she samples the wildlife on her blind date. A lot like a fox. Will he still be her prime mate? He is like a horny ape. Or have a change of heart. Thank you very much, I'm Chris Jagger. Welcome to Change of Heart. Our couple today, they met over a year ago through the internet. She saw his profile, they exchanged pictures, and she wouldn't give up until he agreed to meet her. Well, he finally did, and he's been downloading into her hard drive ever since. Please welcome Jennifer Smith and Sean Slotik. Welcome to the show, guys. How you doing, Chris? Now, Sean, what is it about Jennifer that keeps you initializing her modem? Oh, man, she's very sweet, caring. She's every guy's dream. Any guy would love to go out with her. So those are a lot of good things. Oh, yeah. And Jennifer, what keeps you using this guy's floppy disk? Uh -huh. Sean, Sean, Sean is very outgoing like me, and we like a lot of the same things. And he also does little things like... He uh, brought me 12 roses to work, and they were the most beautiful roses. And oh. I was having a bad day, and he brought me roses. It was so sweet. Very nice. Now, that all sounds all hunky-dory and everything, but I understand that the actual computer that brought you guys together is actually a problem. Why is that? He cheats on me on the How internet. How does cheat on you? How do I, I cheat? Know how many times I busted cheat. this guy. How did he cheat online? He closes windows Oh, now. come on. Oh, you, you walk in. These girls see. don't even live near. They're like, I it see you matter. every day. I see you, you every day. You can talk to me. What do you need oh, to talk to on. these other girls for, huh? Just, just kill time. There's even, nothing I else even, to do. Right? I, I go to school. There's nothing. letters from these girls. What, you live eight girls? hours away. I even talked to one of these girls, and she said that this guy in the first five minutes was like, Hey, um, how can I meet you? I really want to meet you. Man, these girls make it. She can believe, you're going to believe them strangers over me. Yeah, but Sean, wait a minute. Do you consider it cheating if you're just chatting to them No, online? it's just talking. It's just, you know, I say one thing and, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're what, do you, what do you yeah. need to talk mm -hmm. to him for, huh? Now, Jennifer, let's go to real life off the computer, bedroom life. What's that like? Well, <laughs> he is like a horny ape. That's all. <laughs> that's the only, that's yeah, only, hey, that's okay. only way I can put You're it. complaining? What? A horny I mean, if ape. you would just sit there and just kiss me for a while. Kiss what is you? wrong with kissing? I love kissing. And you just go I, right to the slam bam. Thank oh, you, oh, I did. I, mean, I did. I gave her foreplay for an hour one time. You're not complaining. I made you squeal, didn't hey, I? Hey, foreplay is kissing. Kissing? What's wrong with that? Kissing, you never complained before. You said, oh, your lips are so soft. I love the way you yeah, kiss me. Yeah, I really, and I miss them. And I miss you them. You miss them. I give them to you. No, wait a minute. Because she wants to make out, but along with that goes a lot of emotion. Is that what you feel you're missing? Yes. I mean, <laughs> See? I didn't feel missing emotion. I mean, I, I do everything for you. What are you talking about? Now, Sean, no. what about you? If you had to pick one most annoying quality about her, what would that be? She is so anal. I mean, she oh. needs preparation H, man. <laughs> I mean, I went to basketball practice one day. I come back, you know, she cleans my apartment. I look in my I'm closet. Organized. I go, I it's like, okay, baby, anal. ready to go out to eat? I go to grab a shirt. And he found what? the shirt because I it organized It took forever, the but no. My white shirts, here's my white shirts, my black shirts, my pants were from light to dark. I'm like, come oh, it's on. Color but you found the shirt that she wanted. That's forever. the whole point. I had to go to a whole other closet. I could not find <laughs> like it. Martha Stewart over here. I mean, this guy, I mean, so he Jennifer, says that I'm it, anal. I mean, he, he doesn't even brush his teeth. He doesn't even brush his teeth. Don't brush my teeth. I brush no, I mean, she gets mad. Okay, she puts a piece of gum in her mouth. He without brushing his teeth. He comes to bed, and he thinks he's going to turn me on, and he's got, like, food hanging out of his mouth. Oh, there's no way. I don't have food yes, you do. Yes, you do. I brush my teeth. I take showers you brush your teeth three times a I day. That. Now, wait a minute. Oh. Jennifer, I understand when it comes to appreciating your body, Sean's a bit of a hypocrite. Why is that? Well, he says that I should flaunt what I have. Look at her, he man. She's off. great. Yeah. Look at her. She's hot. She's so, hot. Look at her. I, she's hot. Looks very nice. But what happens when you flaunt it then? Well, he gets very ticked off. Like, I went to a club with one of my friends, and he's always told me, you know, to show what I have. I, I want her so to get, I a get up on best stage butt contest. with my friend who was with me. She does it when I'm not around. we did around. the best butt contest. Yeah, and then when I asked you to do it after that, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm alone. Well, that's different. You want to show that your is, body off to everybody else but totally me. That's totally different. Yeah, you want to flaunt should, it to the world, but not to me. If you want me to do it, then set some ground rules. No, wait, Jennifer, if you're entering a best butt contest, what kind of contest should Sean enter? Harry's back contest. <laughs> And he doesn't even care about it. He doesn't even think about it. There's like, like three or four. You can this? count it. Every guy, every guy's got hair all over him. Three or four. Oh, okay, speak for yourself, will you? Yeah, yeah no. really. <laughs> Sean, how well does she keep her emotions in check, though, when Man, it comes to that? Man, she is an emotional wreck. We'll sit here and just be talking, and she's just like, 
And tears get to her eyes. I'll be joking around with her sense of okay, humor is so uh, dry. Let's say, it's whenever so dry. you say, oh my God, look at that butt. Look at that jiggle. Look at that stomach right in the middle of having sex. No she's way, man. I'm just saying. I just tell her she's got a great oh. body. I'm just like, man, baby. I mean, you, so you're so you talking that, about her. Right yeah, but that's sex. bad timing, Sean. You no, I, I tell her, I compliment her how timing. nice her butt is. Man. Uh, that's sure. great, man. Now, Sean, what do you think the reason the two of you are here today? Well, Jennifer's very insecure, and I came on, wanted to come Internet, on the show. Let's see. Hmm, see if she could learn to trust me, you know, get all our issues on the table and see how bad they really are. All right, that's what we're going to do, because up next, Sean's date tells us how his fingers did some walking on the dance floor. Stay tuned. Yeah. here with Sean and Jennifer. Now, Sean, I hear your date gave you a little oral stimulation. Is that right? Uh, actually, it was, it was on the phone, right? Yeah. What was that all about? Well, I called her up, and she had this dirty beer joint, crackly voice, and I just That's loved it, sexy? man. It was, yeah, beer man, joint? I liked it. I mean, what's sexy oh, about that? Oh, it was that? great, man. I loved it. All right, it. well, we want to hear her different. voice first, so let's ask her a question off stage. Like Jen, what'd you think of Sean when he showed up at your door? He was hot. He had a really nice jawbone, and he was wearing shorts, so I could check out his sexy legs, too. All right, help me cross the loving for Jen Cohen. Hi, Jen. Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you doing? Have a seat. Now, Sean, we know you loved her voice, but what'd you do when you saw the whole package? Oh, she opened the door. I was like, man, Jennifer Love Hewitt, man. <laughs> look alike. She looked, this is a good thing. It's a good thing. Oh, absolutely. Jennifer Love Hewitt. <laughs> Jennifer. Oh. Now, Sean, uh, you said you, you think she looks a little bit like Jennifer Love Hewitt, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Now, Jennifer, you made some crack there, so you don't agree with that assessment? No. <laughs> not at all? You don't see the resemblance? No, not at all. Oh, okay. Jennifer Love Hewitt is much better looking. Oh. <laughs> now, Sean, I understand that you guys got physical right off the bat, so tell me what yeah, you did. Yeah, we went to play basketball. I love to play basketball. I've done all my life. And okay. Jennifer, man, she's not exactly the best basketball player. Actually, I can't imagine her. Looks like she's Jennifer chopping Love lettuce, Hewitt man. Jennifer Love Hewitt would be any better than <laughs> Sure, she's chopping lettuce. She shoots, she's like... <laughs> Wait, she's sure it's just horrible, man. Hey, let's Jennifer's show a demonstration a of what you can do. Oh. I don't have to show my skills to know I have them. What skills? So, Jen, how, how did you do when you were out in the court shooting hoops? I did great. I did great. It was a lot of fun, very physical, a lot of pushing and shoving. According to Sean, I'm a lot better than you are. Oh! oh. The basket. How would you know? I'm so, with uh, him. Sean, playing basketball, you get a little sweaty. I hope you got cleaned up afterwards. Oh, yeah, I went back to her place and showered up and changed. You did? Oh. Uh, and while you were there, I understand you met her pet bunny. Yeah. Uh, and does yeah. Jennifer have any pets? Jennifer has two cats, Storm and Somber, and she they get more tongue action than I do. <laughs> She'll come home from work, pick them up. Where did you get that? Come on, you set them down. The cat just got through licking their butt, and then she gives me a kiss. I'm like, come you on, You have got man. some imagination. Oh, I just okay. love my cats. I okay. pet them. All right, so, Sean, you're over at Jen. She groomed for dinner. How was she looking then? She was hot. She came out, tight black pants, tight shirt with straps. She looked really good. But she had she a little too much makeup on. Oh, oh, yeah. So, Jen, you guys went out for a Chinese dinner, and I understand uh, you guys had a little conversation. So, what were you talking about while you were munching on Mongolian beef? I actually was uh, mainly about him and Jennifer's sex life and uh, I'm not crazy surprised. stuff they've done. And <laughs> I'm actually, not talk surprised, about, really. Tell I'm... me about a little videotape. <gasps> oh, yeah? <laughs> now, Jennifer, you say you're not surprised, but uh, should he be talking about that? with No, the... I mean, he should not be talking about our sex life. That is, like, totally personal. I don't go around me. broadcasting detail, detail by detail. Why are you telling detail? her? You just met her, and you're telling her our sex life? Why? I'm going to detail with it. There's no harm in that. You that know, is, I'm just outspoken. You say you like that about me. I'm outspoken, that's, but I don't, you know. Yeah, but not about that. No way. Oh, He's trying to be open. <laughs> so, Jen, did Sean tell you a little bit about how things were outside the bedroom also in their relationship? Yeah, as a matter of fact, he complained that she's uh, very insecure. And I wonder why. Fact, let's see. Um, let's see how I'm many girls have met on the internet. Anyway, as a matter of fact, he said that on the night that she went on the date, she came home and he was gone, and she automatically assumed that he was out with me running around. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with being insecure, but if it's over the top, you're just gonna push and shine away. Oh, yeah. a little unfriendly advice from the date. So I should just accept him going out and sleeping with other girls. Oh, I right? now I sleep with other girls. Oh, oh you've okay. got from the internet. I see you every night. I basically I stay with you oh, all summer long. Oh, it's a bit all during the day. I mean, oh, okay. Dinner, you you call me day. ten times. So Sean, at this point of the date, you're with Jen. What was the thing that was turning you on the most? She really cared what I had to say, and she listened to me. You she found really that a little different? Yeah, she little... listened. She really cared, and she listened to what I had to say. Sometimes of course she's Jennifer going doesn't to listen. on the first date. Sometimes she doesn't listen to me. To you think Jennifer's day. just tuning you out? She doesn't care enough to remember my middle name after eight months of dating. Oh. Is that true? I, 
ask her a question, I'll say, what's my middle name? Uh, 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 and then the very next day, the because same thing. Because they put thing. me on the spot and all this yeah, stuff. And, and then 11 months, almost a year name. of dating. I don't know why. Almost a year of dating. What's my middle name? Okay, let me test her. Jennifer, come on. Not to put you on the spot, but what's the middle name? Sean Michael. Christopher. It's Christopher. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That's what she always thought. Michael. It puts me on the spot like that all the time. That. I forget Look at that. I guess they can remember after Thank a while. You. Thank you. Over oh, here. New Year's yeah. Eve was a year anniversary dating. Mm-hmm. Forget. I don't ever Look say that. his middle name, though. I understand. Now, Jen, after dinner, you guys went dancing, so did you get a little funky out there on the dance floor? Yeah, we had a lot of fun. You know, a little touching going on. You know, touch my butt, check that out. And by the end of the night, I, you know, made the assessment they had a pretty nice butt himself. Oh, yeah? Uh, both doing a little oh, reach does. arounds. He really does. <laughs> I like it. Now, Jen, Jennifer said earlier that he's like an ape in the bedroom. If you had to imagine, what animal do you think he'd be like? I wouldn't say an ape. Maybe like a puppy dog. You know, Aww. sweet, frisky. Oh, yeah, he's like a dog, all right. Aww. Times. Uh huh. A little puppy dog. That's a little nicer than an ape. Wow. You know, frisky. You know. Yeah. All right. And Sean, what about Jen? What kind of animal do you think she'd be like? She'd probably be like a wolf. I think she's a howler. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, Jen, any good night nookie on this date? No, no, but he said it's only because he had a girlfriend, and, you know, we'll just see how, how things That's work right. out at the end of the show. You know, right. he changed the heart. I see. So he was being respectful. Yeah. All right, very good. Now, coming up next, Jennifer's date tells us how she turned him on with her tongue. Stay oh. tuned. Sean's date with Jen. Now let's meet the stud we sent out with Jennifer. Jennifer says Sean's a double-talking cyber sex addict who's got the bedroom technique and the back hair of an ape. <laughs> Shall we set her up with a Mac who doesn't talk smack, is smooth on his back, and in the bedroom rises to the top of the stack. Please give it up for Paul Richards. <laughs> See, Jennifer, I understand there was something right from the start of that first phone call that turned you on about Paul. What was that? Uh, you got to hear him talk. He's got the sexiest British accent. Oh, British, British accent. Oh, All right, yes. Paul, we're going to check out the accent. While you tell us about what you thought of Jennifer when you first met. She was off the hook. I mean, sexy. This little backless top she had on, your little short skirt with a split up the side, and the most incredible <laughs> legs. She was definitely hot. Very nice. And Jennifer, could you tell when you guys met that he was all over that? Oh, yeah. By the way he was looking at me, I felt really comfortable. And, I mean, everything about him just made me feel at ease. So yes. you, were com- yeah, you were nice and comfortable right off the bat? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And Sean makes you feel sort of what? Not, not as comfortable all well, the time? Well, Sean sits there and makes fun of little things like my butt and my stomach. And oh, fun. I give him a He'll sit there, he'll sit there and funny? go, oh, look at your butt. Look at it jiggle. I mean, <laughs> look at it jiggle. <laughs> Nice. Got, uh, Jennifer, nice. Uh, nice. Uh, back to Paul here for a second. Uh, did his looks then in your mind measure up to the way you heard him on the phone with the accent? Oh, definitely. You know, when I first opened the door and saw him, he looks a lot like... Um... <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan, that's it. Pierce Brosnan? Yes. <laughs> Without the razor, huh? <laughs> Without the razor. Okay. Little, that's she, 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 she said she likes action. it scruffy, like, so, you know. Okay. I think yeah. it's sexy. She likes it's it rough. Sexy. She likes it rough. Oh. You wouldn't know, though. You wouldn't know. You'd never know. <laughs> Jennifer, I understand Paul actually provided a little entertainment for you, and you supplied the audience. What, what was he doing? Yeah, actually, he said that he does a little bit of R&B singing. R&B? So, yeah, so okay, I, was really, I was really interested okay. to hear, hear him do something for me. So I had some friends with me, and he did a little demonstration. It was very nice. He's got so a very- he performed for you. Very good. So, Paul, we'll hear a little bit of that later on. But take us to dinner right now. And were you feeling a connection with Jennifer when you guys were hanging out? Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, we didn't even order food for like an hour because we couldn't stop talking. Uh, we were invading each other's uh, space uh, and an uh, touching each uh, other. Uh, and there was definitely uh, a big connection uh, there. Definitely. So you- and, Paul, she was apparently doing something at dinner that you really enjoyed. It had to do with her tongue. Ooh. Oh, what was that? Her tongue? <laughs> she kept licking um, the salt off the glass. I like margaritas And a lot. it was so yeah, erotic. But she didn't realize she was doing it. It was just, like, so cute and adorable, too. <laughs> yes, she is. She is. So, Jennifer, this date, what was making it different than a date with Sean? Well, he's very considerate in my feelings. He was always asking me, you know, how everything was and if I needed anything. Oh, I'm not considerate. And not, not only that, he never once complained about the cost of things. Oh, I complain about the cost of things. Yes. I went out and bought her a 
$180 aquarium just out of nowhere. Yeah, after uh, you had a problem with me. A problem. Yeah, so that was trying to make argument. it up then. Paul, you, you spent some time with Jennifer. You've seen Sean now. Oh, what's your assessment of their relationship? I think he's a fool. I mean, she's an incredible, oh. incredible oh. woman, and he totally disrespects her. Disrespect. And I think the only reason she's with him is because it's comfortable, and she deserves a lot better. A lot better. Yeah. Now, Paul, I understand you got a little bit lost on your on the way to your next destination. How did you get distracted? Um, we were kind of talking about sex, about what we both like, and we definitely got way lost. I way can lost. see how that'd be a little distracting. Yes, uh, very distracting, very distracting. So, where were you heading, actually? I was going to go to a little club and little cool little place, but mm -hmm. we just got so lost. But it was good. Now, Jennifer, what about this question? Uh, w would Paul, do you think, be a horny ape like Sean is in the bedroom? <laughs> I think in the I think he would be more like he is on the outside. He's a lot like a fox. Oh, then you'd be bored. Then. <laughs> you'd be bored with that thing. You'd be How bored could you be that. bored with that? I mean, he is sexy. Oh, you never complain about me. You squeal every time I'm with you. <laughs> Oh, you never complained before. Now you're complaining. Now, Paul, I understand. Very, Paul, I understand. You guys went dancing, also. Uh, did you guys get down, boogie, whatever? It was definitely hot. I mean, she's one of the most erotic dancers I've ever danced with. She is. We were all over each other. I mean, we were flowing with like water over rocks, and it was it was hot. She just definitely was turning. Sean's agreeing, but Sean, he, she was doing it with Paul, not you know. Not worried about. It. I'm not insecure. So, oh, you're feeling you have reason to be, though. You, know? you have reason oh. to be. Oh. Oh, I have reason to be. Oh. Now, Jennifer dancing with Paul obviously turned him on. What turned Sean on? Sean gets off on his farts. <laughs> My farts? I mean, he farts like a freight on, train. Or like a freight train. Okay, you, okay. you know what? Train. Moving right along here. Uh, <laughs> it's disgusting. I can't stand it. Oh. Paul, we understand Sean was complaining earlier because his, his closet got color coordinated by Jennifer. If she did something like that for you, is that a problem? Not at all. I'd lie her down, eat dinner off her body, run her a nice hot bath, <laughs> oh, yeah. rose petals and, and, and like, candles. Man, and line. Obviously, she's very attentive to her boyfriend's knees, and he's stupid not to see that. So you see that as a good thing. Now, Paul, wrap up the evening for us. How do you think it went? It went very, very well. You know, we finished the night with a nice romantic kiss, and it was, I mean, it wasn't for the distance. We'd definitely be seeing yeah. a lot of each other. And Jennifer, your opinion, you think this guy's a pretty good catch? Oh, definitely. I mean, he's very considerate, very, he's very sweet, and very patient, and I, I can't find anything wrong with him, to be honest. A lot of good qualities. <laughs> Paul, you said, uh, we heard it earlier, Jennifer, talking about your singing. Can you do a little something while we go to break? Yeah, I'll do a little yeah. something. All right. You don't have to say anything, cause I see it in your eyes, girl. The way you touch and hold me, and there's no way to disguise. All right, Will Jennifer will be singing a different tune, or will she go back to the same old song? We're going to find out when we come back and get final decisions. That's next. Sean and Jennifer, they wanted to lay all their problems out on the table today, and Sean wanted to see if Jennifer could overcome her insecurities in this relationship. Let's see how he did. Sean, we'll start with you. It's been about a year now since you guys have met, so we know it's serious. You have some problems. You went out with Jen. You said you thought she was beautiful. You loved her voice. Obviously had a really good time. What's your decision? Well, I had a really good time with Jennifer. I mean, it really did. And Jennifer... Her insecurity's been a real big problem, you know, and it's been really hard, but hopefully after going on this date, I hope she can learn that she can trust me, because I really love her a lot, and I want to stay together. So Sean says stay together. Jen, sorry things didn't work out for you. Now Jennifer, Sean wants to stay together. There you are with Paul. You loved his accent. He's, he made you feel good about yourself. Some of the things that you said you're not getting from Sean, some sexy dancing was going on. What's your decision? Well, Sean has made me a very insecure person. I'm not normally an insecure person, and he has done that to me. And Paul made me feel like a queen, a total queen. I never felt so good on a date. But <laughs> I really do love Sean a lot, and I want to work very hard to get over this insecurity. So you say, stay together. Okay. Paul, sorry things didn't work out for you. It's all good. All right, Jennifer. Sean, you face some of the problems. You can go forward now. And Sean, the only website you're allowed on is changeofheart.com. There you go. That's our show for today. Thanks to Jen and Paul. Good luck to Jennifer and Sean. We'll see you next time on Change of Heart.